Question 32. Which sentence from paragraph 2 best supports the idea that sheer leatherheadedness, paragraph 2, amounts to ignorance and idiocy, paragraph 4? Okay, this is a command of evidence question. So all the answers are in quotes. There is no paragraph or line reference, which is a bit unusual here. So that might make it a little trickier, but we're going to have to first diagnose exactly what the condition of the question is. So leatherheadedness, remember, that means stubbornness, right? Unwillingness to learn or change your ways. So where does that stubbornness indicate ignorance or stupidity? I don't know. Let's take a look at the answers and we'll try to figure it out. E, he goes out foraging, he makes a capture, and then what does he do? Well, okay, that's a question. The question does not indicate leatherheadedness, stubbornness, right? And certainly doesn't indicate idiocy as a result. It's asking a question, very different than a statement of idiocy. E is not the right answer. F, he lifts it bodily up in the air by main force. Okay, so I believe this is where he took the booty in paragraph two, and he lifted it up. Well, does that show leatherheadedness, stubbornness? Not really. He doesn't have an alternative to lift it up, right? It's not like an ant has a crane or tools. He's just strong. Ants are strong, and he lifted it up mainly by force. Well, that's just a factual statement. That does not show idiocy or ignorance. Okay, notice it's a little harder here because we don't have line or paragraph references. So we do have to kind of figure out a little bit more into the context here. G, when he gets up there, he finds that that is not the place. Okay, this again by itself may not indicate stubbornness leading to idiocy unless you really understand the area where it occurred. And if I recall, this was about the point where he tried to climb a weed or a blade of grass, and they compared it to basically climbing a steeple rather than going around it, which would be idiotic. Let's just double check that text. So in paragraph two, he hoists it. Okay, uh, he comes to a weed. It never occurs to him to go around it, right? No, he must climb it. That's kind of ridiculous. He does climb it, dragging his worthless property to the top, which is a bright thing to do, as it would be for me to carry a sack of flour to Paris by way of the Strasbourg steeple. Okay, that example basically is saying, boy, that ant is stupid. And here's our line. When he gets up there, he finds that is not the place. And of course, he has to climb down and tumbles down instead. So this shows the leatherheadedness, that stubbornness of the ant, just leading him to do something that was completely unnecessary, basically take an ignorant or idiotic action. The correct answer here should be G. When he gets up there, he finds this is not the place. That by itself, again, doesn't answer the question, but the context of what's going on here does answer the question. The ant is being stubborn, and he does not take the obvious solution, which should be to go around the weed or the blade of grass, okay? Let's just check H. Now, he wipes the sweat from his brow, strokes his limbs, and marches aimlessly off in as violent a hurry as ever. So I think this is toward the end of that paragraph where he gives up and then just wanders aimlessly off as though he's no longer motivated. So does this show sheer leatherheadedness? No, this shows him giving up, which is the opposite of stubbornness. H is not the answer. Correct answer for 32 is G.